Well then, it looks like Nikocado Avocado has fooled all of us. Not only has he shocked the internet, but he's now living in his villain era. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Sorry, wait, what? Are you trying to tell me that I'm fatter than Nikocado Avocado? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. So in case you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Cardo Avocado has fully transformed himself. Yeah, he somehow went from this to this. I mean, the guy literally looks like he's just come out of one of those Captain America super soldier makers. But the guy now is just an absolute animal. I mean... <laughs> Unbelievable. But just to give you a little idea, ladies and gentlemen, of what we're going to be talking about today, take a look at this tweet from Introspective. Nick Cardo Avocado pre-recorded two years of him being a fat, mentally unstable muckbanger. Profited off the millions of hate watchers while he secretly went on a personal journey in the shadows and came back looking great to flex on everyone who doubted. Okay. That's effing elite. I mean, that's just a him moment. He is him. But look, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot to go through today, okay? He's uploaded two videos talking about his weight loss and how he's now become the villain, which I, I didn't see that coming, to be honest. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I thought it'd be a good idea to, like, have a mukbang while we watch Nicocado Avocado. I mean, he's thin now. He's literally lost all the weight, but I guess I'm the one that's becoming obese. How the tables have turned. <laughs> I'm such a fat <laughs> <laughs> you know what, ladies and gentlemen, before the climax of today's video, I thought it would be a nice little journey for us if we were to watch some of the older Nikocado Avocado videos. As you probably know, I've posted a couple of videos on him already. And if you're an OG viewer, you'd remember this video where I ate like him for seven days and I put on like 10 kilograms. Yeah, that was a very dark moment in my life, that was. Oh, yum. What are you feeling? <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I'm still on this cheeseburger. I'm, I'm, am I going to eat? I'm going to eat it. These were the two new videos he posted. Two steps ahead. 1.7 mil in seven hours. God, I could only hope. He also posted another video on the channel of Nikocado Avocado 2 titled Hi. Now, if you're not aware of Nikocado Avocado's backstory, not to worry, I'll explain it real quick for you. So he's basically a mukbang YouTuber who would use drama to kind of drive his view and also drive the numbers higher in his bank account. You know, he'd upload videos just consuming an inhumane amount of food that, to be honest, I didn't think even was possible. This is supposed to be one of the spiciest soup ramens in the world. I feel sorry for the bloke's toilet at this point. I mean, what did you nickname your bum wall? Ring of Fire? <laughs> Nigga can't have a card on the Ring of Fire. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically how he was driving traffic to his channel, ladies and gentlemen. The more food he consumed, the more views he got. And the bigger his belly got, the bigger the bag was. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen, he also took part in some various activities, such as humiliating himself on camera. I mean, what am I talking about various activities? His whole channel was practically just a humiliation ritual. And the kind of humiliation I'm talking about is where he sat... <laughs> he sat with his tits out in front of some egg noodles while shaving his head. He was listening to some violin crap and slowly just sinking. He's pretty smart about it though because, as I said, it was out of context. But then in the comment section with the pinned comment, he just put bad day, here's why, and then links to his second channel. But it's kind of smart, you know, he's created like this kind of viewership loop. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Anne Boleyn Reed actually, but she just can't stop herself from looping back and forth to the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I mean, I, that clip never gets old, right? I mean, he looks like he's a part of some sort of Titanic musical. And what's the way he dropped that egg like he'd just been shot? <laughs> was just absolutely crackers. But obviously this kind of content was satire, you know, he's just driving this kind of shock value moment for views and money. But obviously the, you know, the obese bit was obviously not satire, that, that bit was real. But yeah. the main concern that everybody had about Nikocado Avocado was indeed his weight. He was pretty much slowly killing himself for money and views. And the viewers kept watching this man slowly decline. I mean, I was one of them. We, we all saw it together. Nikocado Avocado slowly declining. But we were just continuously feeding him that money. And there was no limit to Nikocado Avocado Avocado, he, he would do anything like get angry at a couple of cats. Feed the cats! <laughs> She's feeding the cats! You can see her feet in the cats! No! I mean, that's just a very angry man if I've ever seen one. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever been that angry in my life. And this guy was angry about a woman feeding the cats. You can see her feet in the cats! <laughs> 
<gasps> and to be honest you, it, it was just pure chaos. I mean, that was genuine rage. <laughs> you could just tell. But yes, to sum it up, ladies and gentlemen, this is what Nicocado Avocado is basically known for. The obese mukbanger who screams, shouts, argues with his husband and humiliates himself. But even though this is what he's known for, it was kind of counterproductive. Because as I just said a second ago, he does it for money, but somehow, you know, he doesn't really make money because his channels are practically demonetized anyway. There's been a few times where he spoke about, you know, retiring or like getting a normal job. He also mentioned that he was a talented violinist. You could have done anything else, man. But you, you chose to stuff your face on YouTube. But you know what? It's fine, ladies and gentlemen. It's totally fine. Because guess what? Nikocado Avocado has fooled the internet. Nikocado Avocado's last video was seven months ago, and then he just disappeared from the platform. Some people thought he died. <laughs> but I can't blame people for thinking that, because we've previously seen him wearing a breathing tube, which honestly looked like it was keeping him alive at that point. And this is what the guy looked like in that video. Just a man that was overweight, no discipline, with a breathing tube attached to him, which was the only thing that was keeping him standing. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought I was watching a mukbang. Didn't realise I was watching the start to a porn movie. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck's going on here? But despite that being his last video, ladies and gentlemen, nobody know what happened to him, he just disappeared. Are you ready for the biggest villain arc to ever exist in history? The guy claimed two years ago that he was two steps ahead. And we are all sitting here thinking, yeah, okay, mate, two steps away from a Chinese takeout. But the strangest twist in this story is that he actually was two steps ahead. In fact, he was far more than that. He was doing about a thousand steps a day on the Stairmaster alone. And it's honestly admirable. I actually respect him so much for it. Like, genuinely now, I respect him. Like, he's lost the weight before most of us have. I've seen a few people upset being like, wow, hang on a second. Nick Acado Avocado became skinny before I did. But Nick honestly played this in such a genius way. He was playing a game of chess. Everything was calculated. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at his new video where he's lost all the weight. And he's literally skinnier than I am. I mean, I weigh 80 kilograms, which I don't know what that is in pounds for you Americans out there. Why do you have to make things so difficult? <laughs> I'm kidding. But that actually was a joke. You don't make things difficult. I know that most of you are American, so... You are obviously much smarter than I am. Now, when I first saw this thumbnail, I thought it was clickbait. I've got to be honest with you, I thought it was photoshopped. I thought he used one of those slim fit filters. But actually, uh, it turned out to be very real. More real than reality, actually. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Get in f***ing goosebumps. Get in goosebumps, guys. Hey. The guy is elite, all right? I really, honestly, I'm so, I'm actually really proud of this man. But do you know what the most annoying thing is? Is how well he played all of us. Because do you want to see what he said two years prior? You won't believe it if I showed you. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. The guy said this two years ago. He was literally two steps ahead of all of us. Don't say that in the comment section. Oh, I, I actually knew he was going to lose the weight. No, 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 no. He fooled everybody. Nobody expected this. Not even your grandmother expected it. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries. Wow, okay, I mean, that's a really intense villain act speech. Suddenly I'm getting the vibe that Nicocado Avocado is the man behind all men. I feel like this guy is the one that runs the world. He's definitely becoming a villain, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, you know, if there was one man who had every right to become a villain, <laughs> It was this man right here. Humanity is nothing but a fragile concept, a fleeting idea that you cling to for solace. Humanity itself is an illusion, easily shattered. Civilization is an idea. You'll see how quickly your grand notions of purpose and morality can be shattered into nothing. That was like a Thanos speech I was going for. Yeah, that's pretty good, wasn't it? I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. The guy is literally a villain. How did we not see this coming? The ultimate mastermind. He's like goddamn Philip oh. Schofield. No, he's not. He's not like Philip Schofield. Um, Michael Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not like Philip Schofield, the, the p 
Oh, no. No, he's not. He's like Michael Schofield from Prison Break. But I want to see his face, guys. Like, this guy has gone under a huge transformation. I mean, just look at his body. He literally went from this to this. They're told to consume. So I am the villain. Because I've made myself one. <laughs> This is the biggest quote-unquote Sigma moment in history. I thought this was a filter. I really thought this was a filter, but fair play to the man. He's lost weight. He, I mean, he's lost more than weight. He's lost half a person. If this is motivation for people, then I don't know what is. This guy literally weighs less than most of the people I know. I mean, we've been put to shame. I mean, I feel fat watching this. The way Nick Ocado went from just water weight to 250 pounds lighter is the biggest internet redemption arc ever. Holy shit. I mean, yeah. This has to go down as one of the biggest moments ever in history. I mean, this could literally be the biggest it's just a prank bro moment of all time. He's only one step away from becoming a fitness YouTuber. I mean, it's not, he's not far off, honestly. I mean, what would he even call his fitness channel? Nick's Powerhouse. Nick and the Lifting Legends. Now nah, I got a better one. Nicky Reps. You know, because, like, the reps you do in the gym. Nikki reps. That's what you call it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic. I mean, I'd sign up to it. But what he said next was actually quite interesting. Let's take a listen. For as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain, stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants, influence the ants, brainwash the ants, you are the ants. I mean, the guy is scaring me. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I wasn't afraid of him before, I I am now, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, regardless, take a step away. He's obviously satire. Like, he's just kidding around here. Um, It's actually him just talking normal later on in the video where he seems pretty happy. seems a lot more healthier than he used to, which, to be honest with you, I'm actually very, very happy about. I'm really happy that he decided to go on this weight loss journey because not only is it going to improve his health, his fitness, but overall improve his life massively. I imagine he's going to feel a lot more confident. I imagine he feels a lot more energized in himself. And to be honest, I'm really proud of him. Guys, he pulled this out of the back. Nobody saw this coming. He said this two years ago, secretly, with court. And we just weren't smart enough. He got us trapped in the corner, just like the ants we are. But you know what, right? If you want to get your tissues out, what he says later on in the video was really emotional. I mean, he almost got me in tears, and I never cry. I had no choice. But Daddy's back. We're, we're back home. We're home. Hello. And I'm back here with all of you. It was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And it's over. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, Mr. Noodle, wasn't it? It feels like a bad dream. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, I'm so, like, so much uh, dopamine and serotonin in my body right now. The man looks genuinely happier. I mean, have you seen the look in his eyes? That is a man who has truly found the key to happiness. I don't know how to say that. I'm, like, really proud of the guy. Honestly, it takes a lot of discipline, and he just showed everybody. If you really want to change your life, you can do it. It's such a symbolic message at this point. I mean, what a journey. My heart, honestly, I... <laughs> I'm getting soft now, guys. <laughs> you never see soft Curtis on the channel. Well, you're getting soft Curtis today, all right? Sounds a bit weird now, actually, now, now, now that I think about so it. So it's good to see that Nick has uh, lost the weight because he's worked really hard. Oh my God, no. God, is he, is, is he already going back the other way? There's a lot of noodles there, Nick. I remember I would start it the first time. I'm kidding, guys, but I think he's just chilling. I mean, it's not as if like he's going to keep doing this every single day for money and views, right, surely? <laughs> he seems to be taking care of himself and he looks healthier than ever, to be honest. Comment down below, guys. Did you think that Nick Ocado Avocado was gonna do this? Because I certainly didn't. And to be fair to the guy, he also posted another video on his second channel, which was titled Hi. And that's also number four on Trenton, which is wild. I mean, guy left for seven months and came back as a villain. <laughs> Welcome to Nick Ocado 2. This is my second channel and I hope you consider subscribing because I don't even know if people like me <laughs> or if they want to hear from me. And once again, we should pay attention to the happiness in his eyes. I actually feel kind of bad for him, actually, that he says he's not even sure if people like him anymore. But you know what, right? I actually do like Nick Ocado Avocado now. I mean, he looks so much healthier and the discipline is so respectful. And don't you guys come in the comment section or what? You didn't like him before because he was fat. What, you don't like fat people? <laughs> No, I just prefer the person he is now, the way he acts, the way he carries himself. Compared to before, I mean, I mean, what was that? I mean, I just wouldn't want to be 
associated with someone like that. Nick Ricardo Avocado now, in this new era, I feel like I could sit down and have a pint with him and have a chat about some stuff, although he doesn't even look like the kind of guy that would go for a pint, but you know what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Noodle, we are having spicy, cheesy noodles. These are made with Takis. Not to be that guy, but you sure you should be eating that much? <laughs> I'm playing it off as if it's comedy, but I'm actually concerned, right? I'm not, Now I'm more concerned than ever for some reason. Like, I'm more protective over him. Does that make any sense? I just see you eating these noodles, and I see you eating the last noodles as well. I actually think you're wearing the exact same hat, which makes me worried in case this was the exact same day that you consumed all these noodles. Just remember what it was like before. It might be worth, you know, printing out an old picture of you and putting it on the fridge to remind you. That's what my parents used to do. But he seems like he's going well. You know, I'm really proud of him. I keep saying it, guys, but generally, this is like the biggest news yet. Like, I'm very happy. This has made my year, this has. You know, it's only three months left, but still, it's made my year. This was the timeline where we got the good ending of Nick's story. <laughs> Truly an honor. Well, it's just a good thing that we made the right in-game choices, everyone. Otherwise, we would have had ending B. Film videos while he was fat, then released them after Umperville era, while he was losing weight. I mean, what an absolute G. I mean, only a G-man would do that. That's what I'll nickname him from now on. The G-man. Nick Caro Avocado. The G-man. <laughs> I mean, the only thing left to do now is to wait for Amblin Reed and Chantel Marie to step on the treadmill. Unfortunately, the only exercise they're doing right now is walking to Five Guys. But guys, I got some news for you also. Um, the Pheromone Maxer responded to me. And if you don't know who the Pheromone Maxer is, he's someone that I call the influencer who refuses to shower. Now, I made a couple of videos on him, and he's just, he's just absolutely disgusting. He's got, like, thrush on his tongue, and his hair looks like a Bergamasco sheepdog. And also, he's got some wild infection on his foot. Well, he's actually responded to me, guys. He, he's made a TikTok. Dear Curtis Price. So if you do want to see that video, let me know down below. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell notifications, because you don't want to miss that. That one, trust me. That is going to be a legendary video. I mean, he's responded. We, we never saw this come in. But that's it, everyone. Check out my other videos. I'll leave some Pheromone Maxa videos here so you can check out and catch up on the story. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And I'll see you all in the next one.